Yorkshire. Um, I speak to Stephen there, and he says that the the wee slip he has at Petard <laughs> last week sort of sums up the way the season's going so far. Is that fair? Um, I listen, there's more to it than that, but uh, I think you know you look back at certain games. I think they see we, we you know, I, I was sort of saying to the lads after last last week, we've we've had um, a third of the season now. You know, we've played everybody, we've underperformed, underachieved, and our season's got to start tomorrow night. We've got to start picking up points. Um, you know, I think we've. You look at probably this season, arguably the four toughest places to go. Um, went to Celtic Park, defended ever so well, and lost the goal to a dubious penalty. Last week against Aberdeen, Stephen slips, it ricochets off Hammy, falls in here's his path, they take the chance. We got Dundee United, um, Bilati scores a wonder goal from 35 yards, we lose 1 0. And we go to Hamilton in the Cup and play 120 minutes and don't concede a goal. So that part of it, when we get that right, it gives us something to build on. The key area, um, this is where I disagree with certain people, certainly goalie coaches, that clean sheets don't win your games because, as proved, we've got a clean sheet against Hamilton 120 minutes, we didn't win the game. We need to score goals. Um, obviously, clean sheets are, are massive and we need to defend better. You know, we'd lost 10 goals previously to, to Partick, Dundee and Hamilton. I felt last week there was a resilience about us, um, especially after losing a goal so early. Um, there was a good spirit, there was a good togetherness, but we didn't create enough at the top end of the park. So that's what we have to look at. We need to look to start scoring goals again, creating chances, but we also want the balance of not giving silly goals away. Um, I've got great belief in the lads. We've trained well this week. But we can't keep talking about it. The time is enough. We've got to start producing results. Is it a confidence issue with the, the attacking players? I mean, it must be pretty difficult to put your finger on. Yeah, no, I, I, we didn't create a great deal last last week. We had two set players. I looked at the QPR game the other night um, against Villa. Villa had a lot of ball. QPR, I think, two opportunities and took two chances and scored two goals. You know, and um, you, you you always look at everything in football and I analyse myself and the team probably more than most people do um, delighted last night looked at Newcastle you know the, the trouble they've been going through for the fans for Alan Pardew for everyone connected to the club you know two weeks ago they were down and out and everyone were you know caning them they've had three fantastic results you know football can change so quickly so you know that's our um, we've got we'll look at the next block of games in the next 11 games um, we want to win more than we, we lose you know so uh, we, we start up at um, Perth tomorrow night do you go to anyone for advice when you're, you're trying to work out this result? Uh, you look at a lot of things. Obviously, the backroom staff is terrific. You know, speak to the senior players sometimes. But I think, um, I would say it's glaringly, obviously, but we've always been a team that scored lots of goals and made lots of chances. We've not been doing that at the moment. And that's been down to individuals maybe lacking a bit of confidence. Um, we've chopped and changed the formations. But we just, we just want to get back to what we at least... You know, we, we've been known to be doing over the last three and a half seasons is that getting at teams and, and making opportunities and, uh, you know, defending better to give us that. I mean, with the last two games, we've lost, you know, goals in the first two minutes, which give us an uphill, uphill task. Uh, but no, I think, you know, I, I've got to say after the Dundee game, I felt a bit lost and helpless. But after last week's performance and attitude, and I just sensed, and we, we had a chat after the game, uh, and I think everyone's really behind you know everybody now to to see the the causes there it's all right speaking about it you know talk can be cheap but i think there's a desire um certainly within the club um the players the staff and everybody else to to turn this round um and we've got to start doing it there's been a lot of talk about off field issues has that given you any cause for concern no not at all no i mean listen we we want more people to come to the game but to do that you know we've got to start performing on the park and i've got enough to think about um, selections, you know, formations, whatever it is, but no, not not affecting us one bit. How is uh, Jack Leach? Yeah, that's 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 a big um, disappointment of this week. I've got to say, as, as well as training's gone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, we won the game at Perth on Monday night, so it's nice for the twenties to win a game, um, get back on track. But Jack Leach, unfortunately, had a serious knee um, injury. It, it went down on his own. There was no blame attached to anyone. And until you know the swelling subsides, we don't know the extent. You know exactly, but it'll be you know at least minimum three or four months. I would have thought it looks like it possibly could be a cruciate. So that that's been a blow for for us as a club and obviously for the lad himself. So we wish him a speedy recovery. Very frustrating when you're trying to get young players into the squad. Like yeah, yeah. You know Jack's he's done well again this season. Um, a couple of games he's been our best player, but as I say it is unfortunate. Unfortunately, it's part and parcel of football. Um, Lee Irwin's been through it. Young Murray's been through it. Um, it's a sad to see injury at any time, but especially to the younger ones. But, uh, you know, like I say, we've got a couple of lads who have been through it and they'll uh, make sure we 
get the best medical um you know, advice for him and, and get him back in, in, in shape, fighting fit sooner rather than later. Uh, yeah, I, I, listen, I saw Faddy play last week at Partick Thistle and uh, the game, um, a bit like I was against Aberdeen, wasn't, you know, a great game and there wasn't a lot of goal mouth activity really, but, you know, he plays the one key pass of the game really and puts Croft through and, you know, keeper says it and he has another effort decent. So, um, listen, there's no... You know, denying the talent that that Faddy's got and still possesses. You know, and and tight games like this, it might only need, take one second of magic, and he's certainly, you know, capable of doing that. So um, we're, we're well aware that he possesses a threat if he plays, which I'm sure he will do. But they've got other other players as well. But yeah, be um, I'm sure for the lads, you know, long term friends of like Hammy and Lars and Mick, he'll, uh, there'll be a bit of banter going on there between them. Is that a difficult decision for you in the summer to? No, I, I think you know. First and foremost, financially, we didn't have the money to offer what he'd been on, um, and you know, I think the players that we had at the time, obviously, we had Craig, Craig Moore, Lee Irwin, two young players. Um, at the time, we had uh, Henry Anier, sort of as well, you know. So we had like four out and out strikers. Um, so it was a bit of both, really. Yep. Great. So just on, Craig Moore played in the game, the the twenties game, the other night for seventy minutes, and you know, great to see him back. Um, bit early for him to be involved in the squad tomorrow, um, but he's, uh, he's he's back, and that was a, a good positive from the other night as well. Something you looking forward to getting into? Certainly so, yeah, definitely. Any other news? No, that's uh, everything. You know, other than, um, I mean, Loss had a. He's back training with us, but it's too early for him to be involved. And you know, other than Jack Leach and Adam Cummins, who are long-term injuries, um, it's been good at training again this week. We've had everyone back in available.